sunshine. Today, I would like to dare you to consider our radical idea. It's called being human, that I hopefully will catch up. And this simple idea is about people, relationships, and lives. And we can do this through personalisation and a quirky idea of co-production. It may appear quite simple, but can offer a privileged insight and understanding and draw on our own experiences to help others. And I would describe myself as an optimist by nature. This, is, uh, this isn't the same as being positive. Positive is finding the light in the now. And an optimist is seeing the light in the always. I just firstly want to uh, thank Anna for describing her uh, experience because there's a lot of people out there when I come into contact with people who use services, carers and family members. Some of the, how they describe the, the system they use, uh, I constantly hear words like, it's a battle, it's a fight, it's a war uh, with uh, engaging with the local authority. Okay, uh, I use an analogy uh, of a house plant to describe how the care system can make you feel and if you will, I'll, sh I'll share uh, uh, the analogy uh, with you. Uh, I think about a house plant, it's, if you think about a house plant, it gets watered, it gets fed. You, uh, if, you, uh, if you're lucky, you might even, the house plant might even be talked to, you know, having a conversation, <laughs> then put on a, a window ledge, to hopefully get some su sunlight in to help it uh, nurture. That is how the care system can make you feel. That's how most people describe it. That's surviving. That's not thriving. So that's, uh, you know, that's how it can make you feel. So um, my reflection would be, it's what unites us. And only a diverse movement can drive the change we want. And we are, and I, I use the wrong we, we are society, and part of the element of that is co-production, is essential, and for me there's four building blocks for co-production. One is about values, and values are, are the deepest, at the deepest level, are our personal uh, being of uh, values, and they are what is most important to us. And values are used to determine how we spend our time, how we evaluate the time we spend, and most importantly, we are always fully aware of our values. And clarity of value is an essential supporting tool to understand that. And if you think about it, it's, it can be an asset in times of darkness and ambiguity if you know your values, because it can set the intention of the words, thoughts, and behaviors and aligning that will hold more importance to us, if we understand that. So, my second building block, Anna talked about power, sharing power. Who gets to make the decisions? How do we relate to one another? Who has power over? Who has power with? Power is the most commonly understood as a form of authority, control, or domination. So those with authority over others are considered powerful, while those who are dominant are seen as, you know, powerless. I would see, be seen as powerless within the system. And this kind of power, we don't really talk about it, and we don't really understand it. The third one uh, of uh, the building block is about language. The language we use is very, very powerful and changes over time, or doesn't. <laughs> Let's look at that example, words like service user. Is it fixed, or does it evolve? Language is that powerful because words carry so much weight. Think of something you've read, or uh, that has moved you, or a speech you heard that inspired, had some inspiration, or think of an insult or negative, negative remark you've heard. 
it all carries emotion with it. And then my fourth building block is diversity. And what I mean about diversity, the power of diverse thinking. And there's a quote called, um, great minds think on a lot. And diversity of minds we need to engage with. We tend to surround ourselves with people who we might identify with in appearance, beliefs, or perspectives. But there's a proverb called, you know, uh, birds of a feather flock together. But the truth is that birds of a feather that flock together significantly hinder the success of co-production. The problem with the bird of a feather flock together is that it creates collective blindness. So the key point for uh, uh, co-production is, one, an awareness of voices both central and marginalised. Two, all views are important as facts or opinions. And three, respectfully disagreement is healthy when we talk about co-production. So, so, um, so the movement must have people with lived experience at the centre and alongside a wide range of allies in this room, commissioners. Bring me sunshine.